So recently I shaved off my beard and I had a lot of thoughts about that and I figured I'd share those with you and how I dealt with uh, some of the issues facing that. Um, so I'm just uh, looking down at this beard brand notepad here. So the first thing was, did I make a mistake? You had to shave for some reason, whether it was a job or you just got sick of the beard or somebody asked you to or who knows, whatever your reason was. And you didn't just do it off the cuff, obviously. So you made a decision and then you followed through and you shaved your beard off. And uh, that's the way it is. And you're a man, you made a decision and you followed through. Be proud for doing that. If you want to grow back the beard in the future, you can. It's not a big deal. But the whole thing is, don't be questioning your decisions. You made one, you, felt, you followed through, be proud of that. So the second thing was, do I look awful and stupid? And to me, I just totally looked dumb. And I realized that it was revolving around the beard and that was kind of no way to live. Uh, I kind of was thinking about that a lot and then I realized that you have to kind of face your face at some point and deal with the fact that that's the way it is. It's always been that way. And if you're covering it up, that's not really a way to live. You should be having a beard because it's good and it's fun and so on, and maybe you can restructure your face with one and so on. However, if you're having a beard because you're afraid of your face, that's kind of the wrong reason to have a beard, in my opinion. You should have one for other reasons than that. Other thing that was almost every single time I caught my reflection, was my face looks tiny. And it does, it just looks so small at first, you're, you're just not used to this weird chin being there and so on. Uh, you're used to everything being so bulbous and so, so huge. After like about a week, it starts to become a little more normal and you're like, oh yeah, that's kind of how my face was growing up and everything, it's been your face forever. Uh, and then about a week and a half, two weeks, you're kind of like, oh yeah, that's my face. And then you kind of start to kind of like it a little bit too. So another thing is you might think you look fat um, because you're not really showing that part of your face that's usually, the more in shape you are, it gets more chiseled. At that point, you might want to realize that maybe you did gain some weight and time to start exercising more. I know I was kind of out of shape at, when, at the time that I shaved my beard, so I started working out a lot, and uh, now I've been working out for like two, three months straight, and uh, toned up, and now I feel better, and it's awesome, it's great. Another thing you might think is that you're kind of not special, you walk around, and if you were really into your beard, or you got a lot of attention from it, you'll realize that the attention changes and it's not better or worse, you're still the same person and to think that your beard is what made you special is kind of sad. So maybe you should realize that your confidence wasn't real and you should figure out a new way to get confident and not just have it from your beard. That's uh, not really healthy in my opinion, so that's kind of what I have to say about that. Another thing that you might find is uh, your confidence may be a little lower, um, which is actually great because then you have this opportunity to kind of focus on yourself and find something new that you're really into, uh, get a new hobby, do something else with your life other than just have a beard. That shouldn't be the only reason you're confident, so that's a good thing. Uh, you might actually get a little depressed, which is always kind of this weird thing um, and it's kind of hard to talk about it with people however if you don't have anybody around to talk about it for me there's this one thing I kind of remember that helped me at least realize where I was in a depression if I ever got depressed so your car is broken and you get in your car and it won't start and the first one is denial you're like oh no no and you keep trying it you keep trying that car and you realize like, you're like, no, and then you're like, fuck. And you punch in the wheel and so on, and it's just still not doing it, which would be anger. And then the next one would be bargaining, uh, which is kind of when you're like, come on, come on, just, we'll just work this one time. 
I'll get you tuned up or I'll fix that, so on. That's that bargaining. And then you have the depression, which kind of follows that when you're kind of just like sad that your day is going to be screwed. And then you get the acceptance where you realize your car is just not starting. And then you just have to find a new way. And then you get there and you get over it. But all those are emotional kind of path that happens when you go through a loss. It's good to remember that because then you can kind of judge where you're at. Are you pissed off? Well, you're probably in this one and it will eventually go away, but it's really good to keep yourself in check and know where you're at from an objective standpoint. The last thing is just talk about it here on the thread and uh, I'll see if I can help you out as much as I can, but I'm sure everybody else will chime in. Anyways, peace out.